Lindas, imagine walking into a place and it's foggy. It's foggy, it's moist, it's humid. You try to take a deep breath in, but you can't. There's just too much hairspray in the air. <laughs> this was the first impression I got from the salon when Reba and I first walked in. Lindas, there was no oxygen. I don't know how the people inside were breathing. I don't know how they were surviving. <laughs> There's no ventilation whatsoever. My God, this, this was struggle number one. So in today's salon, I ended up taking an appointment two days earlier to get my makeup done. After our little breathing struggle walking in <laughs> through the fog, and I see that the staff were busy with a client bleaching her hair. And I slowly realized that this client was actually my makeup artist. <laughs> I mean, we did agree on a time and a date. So I'm assuming she either forgot or she just assumed that I wouldn't show up for some reason. Yeah, this was happening, Linda's. I was getting my makeup done while my makeup artist was getting her hair bleached. <laughs> it was a very interesting experience for sure. <laughs> I do appreciate that she tried to clean my skin with a dry cotton ball and she put some moisturizer that does constitute some sort of skincare. So struggle number two was certainly the seating arrangement. I was in this chair and this chair was not sharing. The chair had no headrest and the makeup artist, she was like putting a lot of pressure on my head. And because I was bending my head, like all the weight was going on my neck and I could almost hear it crack. So instead we decided to change into a much more comfortable position. We went to the back, back rooms. We went to the back rooms. <laughs> I mean, it was so much more comfortable, so I'm not complaining. I didn't even talk about the makeup. My God, it was orange. Like, it's just orange. <laughs> it was very bright. So this makeup was definitely inspired by a toucan. The very brightly colored orange was just the beginning, Linda's. This makeup artist was also kind of obsessed with concealer. She was always using it. <laughs> it was like second nature. And you know what? Good for her. She wanted perfection. Uh, did we get perfection? Not really. But it doesn't matter. It's a thought that matters. <laughs> uh, but the concealer slowly became uh, a weapon. It went from a tool to a weapon, Linda's. You will see soon why. <laughs> but before we get into that, uh, the orange became tangerine. I don't know what this shape is supposed to be, <laughs> but it's cute. It's giving. You know, I love these two colors. Actually, I'm just obsessed with how pigmented this is. <laughs> like, it's actually there. This is probably the strongest orange I've seen yet. So she started concealing my inner eye, like the inner corners of my eye. She decided to conceal my actual eye. There's concealer in my eye. It took me a good half an hour to figure out why there was concealer in my eye until I saw this. Ma'am fully went for it. She went in my eye.
Yeah, Lindas, that was concealer in my eye. It wasn't in my eye, it was in my iris. <laughs> Tell me, how did it get there? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but I guess you can tell from how rough she was blending the eyeshadow, so it just kind of seeped into my eye, I guess. I don't know. It was just horrific because I opened my eyes and it was just white. <laughs> it was so scary. <laughs> also, you see that red spot above my brow? You know, I thought this was gonna go. Like, I thought it was just like because she was pressing on her thumb. It doesn't go. It, it stayed on my face. The only time it wasn't showing was when she covered it with foundation. <laughs> How intense was that pressure on my face for it to leave such a permanent mark? <laughs> like the whole the whole thing was just uncomfortable in that sense. Makeup wise, it's not bad. Like she really did try to blend uh, at the cost of my comfort, but it doesn't matter. It blended. <laughs> So Linda, she starts working on my face. I mean, she doesn't really do anything wrong. I just look ugly. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I was having a bad face day to begin with. We weren't looking our best today, but I, it just looked worse <laughs> like after this face makeup. Mm -mm. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so Linda, remember when I told you this makeup artist was obsessed with concealer? Well, I guess she's also obsessed with putting concealer in my eye. I mean, I understand concealing eye bags, but I never saw someone conceal like just the waterline. Just the waterline. <laughs> like, I feel like that's the one spot you should leave alone, especially when it comes to like hygiene. But also aesthetically, it's just nicer when it's just left alone. And if I was gonna put eyeshadow over that, I would just put it over it. Like there's no need to put concealer at all. I don't know where this was coming from, but that doesn't matter, you know? The concealer was there to house my transformation from a toucan to a parrot. Yeah, Linda's. Now there's blue in my waterline. <laughs> I don't understand. She has a love for birds. She has a love for colorful birds. And I think that was her inspiration. The parrot. I love parrots, so I'm not complaining. You know, beautiful bird. So she lines my waterline with blue and green because the forest. You know, we gotta put some vegetation in there.
Linda's, I have to talk about her highlights. <laughs> you know, I kind of expected it to turn out orange. Is it ugly though? It's not. It's kind of cute. into my makeup appointment and my makeup artist is getting her hair done <laughs> but you know what i don't care it's a vibe it was a vibe you know she was doing my makeup and someone was doing her hair <laughs> and then mid makeup it was like girl we need to clean your hair off otherwise your yeah. hair is gonna fall out <laughs> yeah. and she was like okay quick we'll break. take a quick break yeah. makeup itself though mm. it's giving toucan festival vibes carnival yeah carnival carnival, carnival vibes i i think we were both me and Rival, we were gonna die from suffocation. Oh my god, the entire place reeks of hairspray and, and the, like you can't see clearly. It's like misty. <laughs> it's literally it's just a misty. cloud of mist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Judy, at the very end, she was like, even after you remove this makeup, it's gonna stay. <laughs> She's Let's probably see. right. Oh my god, this looks like a sponge. Bombastic side eye. What do you think of my face? Let me know, Lindas, what you think of this makeup look. I think it's a beautiful representation of the forest. 